Everybody. Now, as you might know, we are right now using Studio Restream I own, so we can have the regular public panel. So we will hopefully get some new people to join us tonight. Um, because let's be honest, um, it goes better with people on the panel. And uh, let's see if we can try to get some people up here today. Um, of course. Botrix didn't join us yet, so I um, don't think any of our um, links are going to work yet. Um, but we will just copy the link manually here so we can get everybody up on the panel. I'd like to get some people up here today because it does make the show go better. Like I said, the Tiger Kitty. Um, where's my cursor? There it is. Um, so let's get this thing on the run. So I'll send a copy of this link out here to the panel. And, um, okay, so to join our panel. Okay. And I know it's a long string, but that's actually what it normally sends out. And, um... And I'll pin that. I'll pin it. So at least you can come up on the panel because um, Botrix obviously isn't yet on the job. We've had the problem before. Botrix will sometimes not show up. And, um, and I kind of really like to have people come up on the show because it makes things fun. Um, so today I was reviewing... Um, a couple of questions about this new AI filter thing that YouTube wants to use. And, uh, of course, we don't use AI here. We never, well, at least not here on YouTube anyway. Good morning. How you doing, Carolyn? How's it going today? So I never always had a reason to worry about it because I don't use um, any of that stuff. I just never saw reason to. And um, the guy from VidQ said, well, I also did a video on recycle for used content as well, which is something the AI, AI is good at doing, is recycling and reusing content. And uh, YouTube doesn't like that. So does this background kind of recycle for used content? No. Um, because... It is different. You know, um, the shows are different. The chats are different. So um, I don't have to worry about that. But I was just curious. That's why I went and looked it up and to find out what the general guidelines are. Just because YouTube keeps changing the rules. We want to make sure we stay in compliance with those. Because that makes a difference. Oh, yeah! Yeah, we already know that. So today we also did a test stream at Cumberland Farms this afternoon. I should have grabbed a jacket because I didn't know it was so chilly. <laughs> I mean, look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a short sleeve skirt or dress. Of course it's chilly. You got a breeze going blowing out there, you know? You know, it's just, it's not blowing really hard, but and it wasn't very warm. It was only like, you know, about, f what, 14 degrees Celsius? Not even 16. And I was like, yay. Um, and it was overcast, too. Not much is going on, right? You came in a little late. Good morning, good afternoon to you. How are you doing today?
Once we see that, once we start seeing temperatures like 25, 30 degrees Celsius, you know we're going to be streaming. Not here, but we're going to stream elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Now, what was that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a fart. <laughs> Oh, yeah! That's a weird-looking fart. <laughs> <laughs> so, clearly, um, we're going to be streaming in uh, different locations. Well, I believe in Asia it's morning right now. It's right in Asia. It probably is morning right now. <laughs> it's when it's sound affects the edge of the game, which I forgot about. <laughs> yep, that's another one. Well, it was so very fun actually going out there and doing it on um, Cumberland Farms this morning, afternoon, but it was a little chilly. So the next time I go out there, I'm going to make sure to bring a little bit heavier dress to wear or jacket. Oh, yeah! Yeah, definitely. So, panel is open, guys. Panel is pinned above. I don't know where every stream is or Batrix is doing. But I'm here. Confused here. I'm going to post the links and see if uh, Batrix answers. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, I mean, I signed in the box today, made sure it was working, so it looks like it should be working. Well, it's supposed to be kick, and then you can see if they work in kick, because Botrix seems to like kick for some reason. Yeah. All right, so let me go kick real quick. So, www.kick. Here go. Boom, 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 boom. Since the system seems to be pokey on this side, pokey in the Loki. Okay, here's the panel link from here on you guys. And here's all your stream links. Yep, that works fine over here, guys. Congratulations. Yeah. Now, I wonder why, does, why Patrick's is having a problem right now with YouTube. Oh, just does. Um, for some reason, it just does once in a while. Don't know why, but um, it's working now over there. That's good. So, so what are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about the news. Okay. Um, latest news. Number one, Letitia James ugh, is trying to say the $175 million bond set up by a special insurance company in California is inadequate. I cause, she says, the company doesn't have that much cash. Forgive me, lady, if I ask you this, but it's not a bond intended to be paid if the person tries to fail to show up for their appeal. And you know Donald Trump has $174.5 million. So what the hell are you worried about? What are you worried about, lady? He's got it. He just went outside. You know, she just went out. He was in the house all day. He just went out. He just went outside on his own power. Because he knows that he just, you know, he, he knows Michelle's going live now. I think Trump is going to win this sucker. I think he's going to win. 
I think Bragg, Mick Bragg had bragged too much. I think he's in deep trouble. <laughs> I mean, McBrag or Bragg is, seems to be the kind of guy who likes to take felonies and turn them into misdemeanors. But for Trump, he's turning misdemeanor into a felony. Gee, why don't you go work on the E. Jean Carroll case while you're at it? She's freaking out. She's afraid she's not going to get paid. <laughs> because her case is falling apart. So, some Letitia James, as I said, is saying is to the judge, you should revoke his bond because they don't have the money to pay it. Lady, don't you worry about it. Do you want to come into your office with suitcases full of $174 million in cash? Is that what it takes for you? Trump will give it to you. You want $174 million in unmarked bills. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so where my question is, is what's going to happen now? What do I think is going to happen? Yeah. I think Bragg is going to find out he doesn't have much of a case. That's what I think is going to happen. I think Bragg is going to find out that the damage that Letitia James has done is... Uh, it's not going to be helpful for him. Remember, Trump's lawyers are on their toes. They know what's going on. The American people know what's going on. American people have been watching this crap go on. And honestly, are like, oh, crap. We have to watch this again. Over... And over again and again and again. And people are saying they've had enough of it. Yeah, well, I think, I think that my opinion is that Trump is going to take 2024. Because, for one thing, just like, just like we, the, the man that was on the cross next to Jesus said, surely that was an innocent man. Yep. I tell you, I tell you, I was an innocent man, I say. I was famed. I was famed. Yep. So, what next? What's going to happen now with E. Jean Carroll's case? I don't really know a lot about the E. Jean, e. Jean Carroll case to say much. Except that she's probably not going to get her $84 million. Because from what I understand in this defamation case, it holds less water than my calendar. <laughs> Just like the Fannie Willis case also holds less water than my calendar. <laughs> Trump
Trump's attorneys have strong suspicion that the jury was hand selected out of people that could not necessarily be impartial with Trump. Let's tell you something. Your jury, you're supposed to be impartial. Unbiased. Okay, we all know that's hard because you all know everybody's got a side. Everybody's got an opinion. Just like everybody has an asshole, right? Yeah. And so, but it seems that the jury selection was specifically set up in such a way to pick people that said they couldn't be impartial. Because Bragg wanted to find a way to make Trump swing in the gallows. But Trump, like he says, He's going to win and win and keep on winning. And I think Frag is the one who's going to be hanging in the gallows, not him. Yeah. So, Tiger Kitty, if you want to come up, the panel is in the pinned link above. Come join us. We're free. We're here. We're bored. <laughs> We're bored. We're bored. Yeah, this is the link we're using today. This is Studio Restream IO, so that people can join us. They couldn't join us in the morning show. We set the other panel up in the morning show for people to <clears throat> be able to um, join us. But the truth was, except for Tiger Kitty and Casey Mojo, most of the people have not been having a problem being on the panels on Studio Restream IO. So keep that in mind, guys. So why are we using why are we using Google Meets? Because people like Noodle said that they couldn't join because Patrick's kept dropping the ball on him. Well, Patrick's does. I was running that into it myself this afternoon with the tablet. Um, Patrick's uses a lot of resources just like StreamYards does. I wonder how the thing would do with the Mac, the MacBook. Oh. Um, probably okay because you're not actually um you're just using it kind of as like a terminal. Um, I would think if you're not using the camera and stuff, you'd probably be fine. I've used it with Streamyards, and it sucked, and it sucked, right? And I was streaming with Streamyards, and um. I didn't try with you stream my own. I know. Tiger Kitty, I bet like me, you probably have a fair oh, you have an iPhone. That's why you and I have iPhones. Maybe Studio Restream my own likes iPhones. Maybe there's something in Chrome it doesn't like. How you doing, Pots? Welcome to the channel. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, Stan, I don't know about that. Well, what about Bragg? Well, what about Letitia James? What about uh, uh, Fonnie Willis? Are they taking responsibility? Are they taking accountability? Letitia James said her campaign was is that just like, uh, just like the hunter going after Snugglepuss. I'm going to get you the blighter. I'm going to get the blighter. 
Well, let me I'll go get the black drop. Okay, so we never go. We need to see like, yeah, 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 yeah. Go get Trump. Hang him on your wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go get Trump. Make him fall. Well, only problem is the major thing. Bloody hell! Oh, snuggle puss, snuck away from me again. <laughs> Just an example of what I'm talking about. As I said earlier, Eugene Carroll's afraid she's going to lose her civil case. She's afraid she's not going to get paid. I mean, guys, don't you see what's going on here? Yeah. It's a shit show. That's what it is. It's a shit show. The whole thing. Democrats, throw all your shit out the door. Come up with a new plan that makes more sense. Stormy Daniels might be a winner. Stormy Daniels might be a winner. Go out there and do that. you got a valid case there. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. So Stormy Daniels case may be legitimate. But that's the only case. <laughs> But the civil, it's the only case that might actually have any grounds. Holy crap. Think about it. It's the only case that has any merit. No other case is working. Really? Come on. Now, now with that, I want to think this is just want to make sure we understand that. Okay, let's go back and take a look at uh, the five likes and the like meters and the 11 viewers. Average viewer content, five minutes, 29 seconds. No. Good to heat. I think something meant good to hear. Yeah, how is your mom doing, Stan? Um, women never take accountability, Michelle. But we're talking about Trump not stop deflecting. How would you feel a Trump? I don't know. I think I'd rather have Melania do that instead. <laughs> <laughs> no, Michelle, if I ever return the favor. <laughs> <laughs> Only know seriously though, guys. So when it gets warm, we're going to be doing more outdoor shows, and um, it was the first time we ever tried, even if it was a short one. It was kind of a, uh, more or less. Let's see if this works. We did it out on the, the patio of Cumberland Farms today, and I'll be honest, it kind of. Eh, the chat was kind of hard to read on the tablet, but because um, the sun was kind of 
getting a it's getting kind of bright at one point, so um Kick says I was first and I'm gonna probably do worse, Jim. Well, I mean, uh, so what are we supposed to talk about tonight, anyway? No one really knows. They always just want to get some people on the panel. Come on, people. Come on up. The panel is open. It's been open the whole time. Please. Yeah, please. Come on, save us. Rescue us. We really need your love. Rescue us. We gotta have another fool in me. He's any more. Oh, ho, ho. rescue us. Oh, baby. Get you to see. Rescue us. That's kidding. Yeah, no, actually, it is true, though. It does, the, the panels can be fun. They do make a difference. They do. I mean, just like Noodles. Sure, Noodles can maybe hold his own for a while, but how many times have you ever seen Noodles not have at least one or two people on his panels? He kind of needs it, too. Same is true with me. I need a panel, people. Um, why don't you play? I don't have Rambling Man. And I don't have it on record. Um, I know it's an older song, though. Um, yeah, it's an older song. Um, uh, so, what's next? I don't know. What's next with you? Uh, I don't know. What's going on with Carmen? She was kind of love that pester. You didn't play with her last night. I had to go poop. <laughs> oh, yes, you certainly did. Yeah. Um, so, next week... Next Thursday, it's going to be me, Lumi, Carmen, uh, again. Real Noodles is a cowboy now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this song now. Yeah. But I, I'm not going to be playing the music right now until tomorrow because that's Silver Moon Radio. This is YouTube. We know all the rules of YouTube, all right? Thou shalt not play copyright music, or thou shalt suffer thy consequences of doing such said action. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to go through that much trouble, do we? Anyway, so... So when's the next movie going to be? Tuesday. What's it going to be? I don't know yet. Do you think they're going to give a couple, too? Came out about 1987. I hope not. It's kind of stupid that they tried. They did DMCA takedown right there the end, near the end of the second movie. They should have said, ah, what the hell? Let the damn movie run through. It's already near the end anyway. Yeah, I would have thought so, too. Home mess with ten sausages, bacon, peas, carrots, stuffing, and sausages and bacon. And the rest of it looks good. Sausages and bacon. Is that breakfast or dinner? She said dinner. I know, but it's kind of weird to have sausages and bacon in the same dinner. Um. Some rules are meant to be broken. 
not on this channel. <laughs> not unless Michelle moves the show to kick. Then all the YouTubers going to be going, Wow, he can't watch nothing. She moved it to kick. Oh, he can't see nothing. Oh, wait a minute. What's he with the kick for? Um, uh, I don't know. Well, then we want to see the show. We want to see the show. We want to see the show. No. Yeah. Takes them blank and Michelle, I took photos. Then we put it on the put it on the food page. It's a food meal, right? So I mean if you're in my if you're in my Discord, go to food. You can post the picture on the food page. Oh, your community page. Oh, yeah, you can do that, too. Well, I had some, uh, <sighs> um, cheddar and, um, sour cream potato chips today. And, yeah, they were a little different than the cheese and onion ones from Lay's, uh, from, uh, Walker's, but not that much. They didn't have the onion taste, though. No. But they're okay. Stan says he's going out to get some dinner. Okay, Stan. I had uh, sour cream and cheddar potato chips for dinner. Two Cadbury candy bars, American kind. Which, I guess we can talk about that since it's food, right? How does American Cadbury dairy milk taste compared to the ones I've tasted so from the um, UK? The UK ones are better. They are a little more creamy. Um, but I really would like to compare dairy milk to dairy milk. Um, um, you may see tea hungry. <laughs> He didn't eat all day. What was he doing all day? Probably dealing with court work, court work on a Saturday. Well, I know that doesn't sound like fun, but maybe he had to handle some leftover case paperwork from cases. I guess so. Uh, Stan, you love the cooking for me, fellow, even though he loved cooking too. I'm sure your son likes cooking, and I'm sure you like cooking, and I'm sure Stan would love to eat your cooking. Because I mean, Stan has been busy doing what he does in the in the court system, so and taking care of his mom in the ICU in the hospital, and uh. So, really, he's kind of been busy with his mom and personal life issues. And that takes, uh, takes a lot out of a person. Um, well, let's see how we're doing here with... Um, I think YouTube Loom has got is most of the work of YouTube right now. The few that are here are probably already asleep, went home for the day, turned off the lights in the office. So I don't think you're going to see the limited no ads disappear until maybe tomorrow or whatever. So let's run some ads anyway. Bling. Okay, one ad. How about that ad? Yes, indeed. I went another one. Bling. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Stan, you'd love it. I've cooking for me, and my fella, and he loved cooking too. Mojo says, LOS Tiger. Oh, uh, yes, Stan, love and prayers. 
Absolutely. Um, we don't know anything about his mom's health. He hasn't said any updates, at least not here anyway. No, he didn't. So, yes, the Owen, Owen brothers indeed did pass away. Um, was he the guitarist or singer? Probably both. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, like I said, is that YouTube is, um, gets a little bit uppity about the stuff that I mentioned about Trump, but the truth of the matter is the Democrats are, are running scared. They're just, they're like, they know that they don't have a good case. Um, and uh, so, yeah, they're going to... Eugene Carroll case is pretty strong. The Stormy Daniels case could be kind of strong. But even though it's really a misdemeanor, punishment doesn't fit the crime with that one. Um... Why doesn't Bragg just take the Eugene Carroll case and turn that into a felony and then but then she won't get paid? No. No. So you should stretch your Shut up. All right. Now I would look like a goblin or a troll. I was a troll. I was I was a goblin. That was a cute old goblin woman there. Yeah, I know. I just got to pass that stupid. When you finally succeeded at finding the emitters yesterday, congratulations. <laughs> yes. I found the emitters, and I finally got all four of them. And Virgo Goddess is now up to level 17. 14. 14. You have a membership, you might as well be here, Red. That's true. But he's afraid he's going to get silenced. He won't be silenced. You just ask him to be respectful. This is true with anybody here. Let's be respectful for each other. Yeah, let's see if Rusty wants to come in. I know he went out, but he probably might want to be coming in. I mean, let's go to see what was going on with the female cats. So let's see if he wants to come in. His buddy cat wasn't there, so he was kind of ready to come in. He was just like, he looked at me and said, like, he said, oh, he says, um, are you done streaming? I said, no. I said, okay. Um... So, ouch, rusty. 
Don't put the claws in my legs. Come on. Oh, there's a cat. Yeah, maybe a whiskey ball. Do 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 do. I mean, this is still set from last night from the gameplay, so um, didn't move the screen around. I need to move the camera around when I'm uh, not right now because I don't want to get a signal 11. So just leave it alone for now. Anyway, so and you can see Rusty's furry backside over here. Yep, I see his furry backside. Um, actually, I'm trying to get his weight down a little bit. He's a big happy cat like me. Happy human. Happy cat. Happy blood elf. Oh, by the way, you probably don't notice I have two omelets on today. This one here is... The Blood Elf Amulet. And then I got this one on. This one I mislaid this morning. And I was wondering where it went to. It actually came off of my top. So I put this other one on. This is I got the first, second one on. I figured I'll leave them both on. It doesn't hurt any. So. What? What? Oh, maybe I can't even know. Okay. I can't move the camera because if I do, I might get a signal 11. He's moving the monitor all over the place. So, you can't move this at all? Oh, yeah, I can't move myself because it won't hurt you anyway. Why is that? Because you're not actually streaming with OBS. I mean, if you get a signal 11, it's not going to knock you offline because you're streaming with alternative software. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Hang on about that. There we go. I'm all set there. It's better. So, um, I just went then went somewhere else, but he's he's here. He's in the house. So, everybody was wondering about that. Who said um what? I didn't say um what. Sorry, red song Larry story. Make me do any old thing, says Mojo. Okay. I had the best omelets and couldn't see him too spinach. I like the ambulance they had when I used to work at UConn Student Dining. Um, in the morning, we can get breakfast. If employees got it for free. And um, I would come in and I would get um every so often when I come in, I would have breakfast. And one of the things I would have is a cheese omelet. Sometimes I would throw a little ham in there. Um... And they were good at making it, too. They are fast. Oh, yeah. The guy was uh, obviously very experienced at making omelets on the flat top. Yeah. It was a guy who actually made them. And now another word from our sponsor. Doing. Brought to you by Kraft Singles. Whole cheese. Freshly processed. American cheese. 
processed American cheese. For those of you who have no idea how processed cheese is made, watch, watch Lil Red. Now Red. He shows how American cheese is made. It's a variation of a cheddar cheese, but with a, um, a couple additives to make it easy melting, nice and soft. Unlike cheddar cheese, which can be kind of hard. Um, no, I just had ones. I just had ones for breakfast. I'm like with hash browns on the side once in a while. Sometimes I go for lunch instead. I didn't know how many meals we were allowed to take from the from the. Um, I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to push my luck with the um, the employee free meals. So just you know, but I did enjoy them though. Yeah. I I always that's one thing I liked about working in a um Yukon Dining Services is because I got a decent I got a decent meal out of the deal, you know I really did. Um, it was awesome because we got free meals, you know, like free breakfast. Could come in, he had breakfast before my shift started, and then I would go in, run my shift, and get my job done. And sometimes at the end of my day, um, if I had time, I'd go for lunch instead. No. No. I was I was there for the full school season. Um well, seasonal work. You can student dining services for South Campus. That was seasonal work. During the school year, college. I have no idea. Peanuts, meat, vegetables. Stay away from bread. Stay away from anything that contains glyphosate. Easy on the corn. I like corn. I know you do. Uh, you can eat fat. You can eat ice cream. Ideally, sugar-free ice cream. You can drink milk. You can eat cheese. It's not carbohydrate. Plant and flowers packing. Company it was funny. Woolworth Plant and Flower Packing Company. Really, I never heard of that one. There must be some organization in the UK which I never heard of. I certainly heard of Woolworths. They used to have stores in the United States. Oh yeah, so do I. Chips, anyone? Cookies, ice. I mean. Uh, I just ate a whole bag of them today. Yummy. It's why Michelle's not eating dinner tonight. No. <laughs> um, yeah, but she's in the house now, so. And now another word from my sponsor. Enough of the ads, Michelle. <laughs> Don't go crazy. Well, anyway, the thing is, is that, um, I think it's, we need to remember um, that we need to keep in mind that everything has gone up in price. I went and picked up a pizza for a DiGiorno at CVS. $10 for the same pizza as I get at the other store. 10 Friggin bucks. Going shopping is expensive. Yep. It sure is. I got an idea. Oh, God. 
cost of living adjustment, right? It comes up, what? You got to get the information in November, right? How about this? You say to Jimmy, look, I get cost of living adjustment in January. How about we just pay 900 now until January, and then I can give you 1000 a month because we'll have the 1000 a month coming in from the cost of living adjustment. Oh, yeah. Uh, Aldi's just got star brand. That is stuffed crust. The one Michelle bought from the journal isn't even stuffed crust. Now it's just rising dough. Yeah, the pizza that sits in your gut like a rock. <laughs> well, sounds. Yeah, well, I think we can make some slight accommodations. Well, let's see what that can happen. Let's see. It's up to it's up to the it's up to the gods, the powers to be. I might be able to get it, but um, for now, because I could just tell them the truth. Look, guys, hey, look, here's the deal. I don't can't guarantee I'm always gonna have a thousand. It always varies based on how much I make. Which is one thousand five hundred and thirty-four dollars a month in social security. I got bills to pay just like you do. Now, in Feb in January, we will receive by that time a cost of a living adjustment information. Which means in January 2025, the Senior Citizens League is saying is they think, but this information that they're thinking is not based on the numbers, which is based on the CPI information, CPIW information, which comes out in July, August, and September. So therefore, Without the information for the actual CPIE W, we cannot actually tell you exactly how much you're going to get. The last of the numbers comes in September. They actually calculate the co the cost of living in October, and we'll report it officially around October and December. So. But the uh, Senior Citizens League is saying that they think it should be 4%. Well, it could be. I think it's going to be higher than that. But I don't know how much because, again, we need the information of the last quarter of July, August, and September. So we'll see how close they're right. But right now, there's no official information of it being 4%. Until we won't know that until October. So watch the CPIW. Yeah. Making deals with Jimmy. Oh, this pizza is fine. I like the three meat with stuffed crust. That wasn't bad. The only thing is, is the pepperonis like to slide around until you put them even, even them all on the plate. And then put them in the pizza in the oven. Yeah. It's not why it's okay. There's no promise we will get a cost of living raise. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. That is more than likely. But is it going to be 4%? I don't know because it's not the official number. Yeah, well, then I can also tell them. Yeah, listen here. I also got the, I've also got the winter's rebate coming, see? 
So that's seven hundred dollars. So I can give you another hundred each week, each month, plus the nine hundred. See, so for the but they don't get paid until probably no October, November. So I have to be that way. Jimmy, my milker, need the money too. They don't. They're, they're not impossible. You just gotta know how to negotiate with them. You gotta be a smooth operator. <laughs> He's this. He's a smooth operator. Oh yeah, like you know what I'm talking about. Okay, hello, Nats. How you doing? Yeah, you probably saw my gameplay yesterday, and you said you didn't know how to play the game. Well, if you want to come up on the panel, guys, the panel is open. It's been open the whole time. Anybody that wants to come up, the link is pinned. If you want to come up on the panel, I'd love to have you. And um, so come on in. Come on in. Panel link is right there on the screen, guys. How many of you else you get at one of these? That depends on how hungry we are. Usually one to two meals. It's only a medium pizza, guys. It's definitely the same size as the medium from from um, ABC Pizza. Yeah, it's not the big large one. Oh, I would be nice if it was a large. Wonder why they make them medium, less medium size. I don't know. So maybe they can fit in the pizza oven, maybe or a toaster oven. A toaster oven is not that big enough to hold the whole medium. No, not in one piece. I have to cut it in half. That depends when Jimmy shows up, but I'm sure he doesn't want it to be broadcasted everywhere. <sighs> Not everybody wants their life on camera all the time. Yeah. So is there any questions about the World of Warcraft gameplay you were wondering about? Because I can answer the questions now that we're not playing right now. Hello, Karen. Good morning. Good evening to you. I mean, I'll certainly answer your questions. If you've got questions about the World of Warcraft gameplay, I'd love to. I'd love to answer them for you as best I can. I don't know every answer, but I could try to answer them. Also, we have a panel open. Would love to have you up here on the panel. Anybody wants to come, come on up here. Um, be wonderful. Um, many, 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 many times, Michelle, eat many medium pizzas in one sitting. Yes, I have. Oh, yeah! Hello, Salty Shanker. How are you doing? Welcome to the show today. Well, right now I can't play Turtle Wow on the M1 Mac, but I can play regular Retail Wow, Blizzard Wow Classic, and Blast and Blizzard Classic Wrath of Lich King because they have an M1 Mac client. So I can't play Turtle Wow or Ascension Wow. Um, maybe Ascension Well I could be using the Retail Well um, client, but I've never seen anyone successfully tell me how to port Ascension Well to the um, Blizzard Well client for the Mac. So I don't know, but Turtle Well is on a client that is old 32 bit and 32 bit on the M1 Mac mini would require using windows and um, something like um, a virtual box or uh, parallels or, or like you said, fusion or some other game program. 
because the problem with the M1 Mac Mini is they don't have, or Rosetta does not have 32-bit code emulation. So anything that requires 32-bit will not run. Um, I was honestly completely lost. I need to watch explanation here on YouTube that shows the beginning because I'd love to be able to watch you gaming stream. Well, go back and watch the last few when it was Carmen Miranda. She was kind of starting out in the beginning. Or the one when I was trying out to play a goblin in retail. Um, I, I think it was the cutest little goblin, and when I got to the cave, I just had to give up. I couldn't. In other words, I tore to get the miner into the cave and then lose him. I think he was dead. Oh. Okay. I'm honestly completely lost. I need to watch an explanation here on YouTube that shows the beginning because we will watch the game streams. Well, first of all, you can play World of Warcraft for free up to level 20 on retail. So if you want to, go to blizzard.com download the battle map program and download World of Warcraft for the first few 20 levels you can play World of Warcraft for free if you like the retail wow then for 15 a month you can play you know classic wow Retail WoW or Classic Classic WoW. Or you can play all three at the same time. If you want more fun, set up the European World of Warcraft gameplay. That's what we did. We have the American and European, but we got rid of the American because it was not as many players. The European ones were more fun. Yeah, more people are challenging. When you start out with Excel's Reach in the starting zone as a new player, um, I don't think new players can. Um, could new players play? Um, do they have to start out with Excel's Reach or can they start with the traditional starting zone? I don't know. I, I think you, everybody starts out in Excel's reach. I mean, it, it's, it's okay. Um, well, we could sort of demonstrate it. I'll tell you what, sign up for the European server because it's 20, it's 10 euros a month. And then, Come on to Oregon Dawn and Michelle can play with you on um, on the European server. No, I can't. Why? Because if she doesn't become a paid member, she can't play with another member. Oh. Right. She has to be registered as a paid member before she can play with other players. Right. Um... Haunted Sinker said, I want to level a new character on Turtle Wow. We should get yourself Skynet, Paul, and any others. The problem is with Michelle's computer that played Turtle Wow has gone kaput. It is now in the recycling center. Yeah, it's it's we threw it out. It's broken. Um we have to get another computer. I saved the cards and stuff that were still good, but the computer apparently the capacitors and the processor board went bad. That's okay, Karen. No one has to be on video. If you come up on panel, just 
turn off your camera. Besides, I'm not showing your video on people anyway. If you want to come up, just turn off your camera when you come up. I don't, I have a lot of people that don't even, and I'm not showing your cameras anyway. So if you want to come on up, there's no need to worry about showing your face. Heck, Noodles doesn't even show his face on here. Although sometimes she does. Yeah, sometimes she does. I come a member here. Okay. So what I would do is sign up for the uh, European servers because I'm not on the American servers anymore. Um, so sign up on the European servers. And go to the English server, which is called Oregon Dawn. It's a role-playing server. We don't have to play in Oregon Dawn. We can play in any one of the English servers. Now, VM Fusion is free and works with Turtle Wow. VM Fusion is free. All right, Salty Shanker, can you send me a link in um, um, Discord? Send me a link on Discord and send it to me as a DM. Um, okay, I guess we need to come up on panel. One minute, please. I got to go over here and turn it on. It's, uh, oops, he just left again. What was the mojo? Okay, try again, please. I'm still here. I didn't get a chance to get over there and hit start. Oh. All right, leave my finger over here in the side screen so I can hit it. Damn fusion. Well. <clears throat> you can send me an email if you want to send me a link by email if you're not on... Uh, Discord. I thought you were on Discord. Yeah. All right. So maybe I can install uh, Linux on it. I mean, Mojo was going to join and then she kind of like, but never mind kind of thing. So there's a link to Discord, guys. If you want to come up and join the Discord. Yep. Whoever wants to come up on the panel, link is free. Link is open. Link is free. Link is open. I assume he was going to come on, and then I didn't get to it in time until I just happened to look at the corner. I saw they were ready to come on. I was like, oh. And I went to go let them on, and then they hang up on me before I even got a chance to click at. I'm used to my V for accounts, but now I'm back to using Salty Shaker accounts. Well, right now, I, I, I'm on... I'm on Oregon Dawn EU. I don't, I'm on Blizzard. I'm on the European servers. I think I've seen you uh, come up in the bleep, bleep. The problem is, unless you're on Oregon Dawn EU, I can't play with you unless you're on Oregon Dawn EU. Okay. One moment, please. Go ahead, Mo. Oh, one more time. Go ahead, Mojo. How you doing? Hi, uh, Michelle. I just want to... Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I just want to know how long it's going to last, because it's always booting me after about 20 seconds. Okay. I don't know why it's always booting you after, after 20 seconds. It's the only thing I can think of is, is maybe your phone's got problems, because... Noodles does the same thing, but it doesn't boot Tiger Kitty, and it doesn't boot a lot of other people with better phones. I don't really know why it does that. Yeah. Yeah, just make an EU account. It's easy. And then just come in Oregon Dawn, because that's usually the ones we play on. 
I'll give you the list of my EU servers I'm on. I'm on a few. So when you come join my Discord, come join my Discord, and then um, and I will talk to you in the game area, gaming area, general chat area, and then we can to the Discord come on. All right. Well, the daytime link isn't open right now. <laughs> Michelle's got enough going on. Uh, so right now that we don't got Google Meets open right now. You can put Google Meets on. No, you can't. Why? Because she won't be able to hear anybody else on the panel. Well, there's nobody else on panel. Oh, that's true. Yeah, there isn't anyone else on here, is there? No. Okay, so. Okay, IDN. Hit enter, join now, hit share. Okay, I'm going to share the sound out so my audience can hear them. From IDN, IDN, hit share. Okay, IDN is open. I D N next week the commercial for the front uh, for uh, the local chemist. I D N yep. C V S A B C D E L C B S and B C whatever whatever. Okay, so right now both are open. I'll try to keep an eye on both sides of the Point so Mojo, if you want to come up on IDN, it's open right now. IDN is open right now because unfortunately, we only help for people who have the link. We don't have it open to the public. Okay, great. I'll go take a look at it later on this afternoon. I've got Windows Ten. Yeah, we got Windows 10, and VM Fusion works with it. If we can get DirectX 12 running, how much spend? How much memory are you gonna give it? Mm. You only got a 16 gigabyte Power Mac or M1 Mac Mini. Rusty's in the house. He just came in a little while ago. All right. See if anyone else is coming up on the panel. Not yet, not yet. Somebody's coming up on the other panel. Okay, I see it. I met one. Go ahead, Jojo. How you doing? Hi, uh, oh, hey. oh, you have a dog. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you can see me, but you can't really see me, but you can see me. Only you can see me, though. I can see you, too, but no one else can see you. I didn't think you wanted Good. to be seen. No, I don't want anyone to see me except for you. How are you? So anyway, how are you doing today? Um, I'm okay, yeah. I just had to do a late night dinner, but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Did you have a good day with Krista the other day? Yes, yeah, so I have a couple of Windows dinner. 10. Yeah, I have an ISO Windows 10. So oh, you got Windows 10 of you. So, are you thinking about going to Windows 11 or? What's that? I said, are you thinking of going to Windows 11? I mean, I'm not tech savvy, but I do hear what, what no, people I'm say. No, I'm thinking maybe I might just want to install a Windows XP, actually. Okay, cool. Or maybe we might install, um, what else? Just install um, Wine. On Linux, install Linux Debian with a proper wine. If VM Fusion can do that, that would be better because I like using Linux and wine sounds fine for this because Windows 11 is all advertising and Windows 10 is yeah, kind of old. Well, you know what you're doing with all that tech stuff. I mean, that's what I was going to ask you, Michelle. What did you think of the double-decker's Cadbury chocolate? 
what do you think of the? It was good, but a little bit messy. Chewy and nutty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's quite messy, isn't it? Yeah. I'm what, was, what was the flavor like? Possible. Okay, I get that. So you're probably going to go ahead and um, that's why I'm going to go with Linux and use wine because wine will allow me to uh, install the games they did under um, you know, 2009 Mac Pro under wine. It's not like a plan. Yeah, it was a good candy bar. I bought, I bought some American Dairy Milk Cadbury chocolates, and it's not, it wasn't quite the same taste. No, I mean, what Target sent you, you can obviously, um, uh, you know, the taste, probably you can taste the difference. It tastes yeah. less creamy, more dense. Mm. Yeah, I think they use a lot of... Um, milk chocolate over here because the um original cabri's uh factories in birmingham birmingham apparently like something Midlands. about the milk or the uh, less milk in the american one damn michelle i just broke my big nail anyway go on carry on <laughs> um anything going on no nothing going on right now it's been pretty quiet um so I will check out Salty Shaker, this VM Fusion, and do try to consider coming over on the EU server. Sign up for Oregon Dawn. You'll find me there as Virgo Goddess. Virgo Goddess. V-I-R-G-O-G-O-D-E-S-S. -S. Um, that's mm. where I'm known as. as Virgo Goddess over there in Oregon Dawn. That place is jumping. It's a big RP. Server. I can't believe my my. You know, you call it the pinky over there, don't you? The little finger. My big nail just broke. Then I, you made it break, Michelle. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so besides your big nail breaking, what else is going on right now? Anything? What with me? No, not a lot. Just got okay. a few bits of paperwork to sort out. You know what paperwork's like, Michelle. It's a bloody nightmare, isn't it? I've got to sort a bit of paperwork out tomorrow. Um, well, you know, when you sign up, you can go right to the... Um, you can look at the instructions. There is instructions on the Blizzard page that tells you how to create an EU account. Um, it's really not that hard to do. I did that. Just be aware, any of your assets and stuff from your American account does not transfer over. So it means that you're going to be starting over completely from scratch. You can keep both American and your, and your, your EU accounts. They're separate. So take a look at your account information. When you There's a help on how to, how to apply for EU servers. It's all over the Internet. Even Blizzard tells you how to do it. When you say EU, do you mean Europe? Is that like a server in Europe? EU. Yeah, I play on EU servers. I cancelled the American account. I just kept the EU one. Oh, okay. What 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 is the difference then? Is it is it better or more busy? One well, thing is, is every time I show goes on EU servers, it's always dark. My, that's okay, that's, that's probably the biggest downer. This is always night in the EU. Good for <laughs> vampires, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got we, we got a lot of vampires up here. Yeah, we need to slay them. <laughs> so when you go on the EU Not servers, because you guys are five or six hours ahead of us at the least, every time I get yeah, on it, um, Michelle, um, Tiger's backstage. Okay. Oh, she's on the other backstage, so she won't be able to hear you, though. Tiger Kitty, come over to IDN. I, oh, I'll put her on here. Okay. Tiger, come over to IDN because that way you can hear Mojo and talk to Mojo. Because right now she's on the other side. She's on IDN. Okay. 
I just told her so she can come over here so I can add her. So hopefully she'll come up here to IDN. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm waiting for Tiger to come up here. So, yeah, I like the I like the crowd over there on um, the EU servers. But like I said, it's every time I play a game, it's dark. It's like great if you're all if you're a vampire because um, all you see is nighttime. You don't see daytime. No, not really. She's not going to show anything like that. Um, okay, here's Tiger Kitty. Good morning, afternoon, evening, night. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Good evening. Hi, Mojo. Yeah, Mojo's here. She silenced herself, but she's still here. Okay. Uh, so, what did you have for dinner today? Did you tell everyone? I I had to do something else. So I weren't listening. What did you have for your dinner tonight? Um, sour cream and uh, cheddar potato chips. <laughs> That's all you've had. Yeah, two Cadbury chocolate bars and a partridge and a pear tree. <laughs> <laughs> but even still, that's not a lot of like volume. No, nah, I know. Right. Plus, the you sir names are cooler. Yeah. Yes, they are nicer to play with. And salty, I'll be honest. If you go over to you the server, they're more likely to join you if you ask him for help. So if you run into a real jam, if you're good with working with typing in the chat, especially on the English servers, if you know other so, languages, you could go to them too. But uh, I only know English good enough to really play. Oh, sorry, I just had to take um, Apollo out the back. Sorry. Hi, Tiger. Hi. Is Salty Shaker um, Vafer that you used to play with? Yeah. That's the guy I used to oh, play with. So I haven't seen him for ages. Cool. Congratulations. Salty. Check it out. Um, and then maybe if you like what you see, you'll notice like when I went on to Oregon Dawn, go on to Oregon Dawn, that's the RP server, English server. That place is jam packed. If you want to go there, check out the starting zone, XL's reach. You're going to see a huge number of players on there. And it's one of the full servers that so has some room for RP server. And um, might be worthwhile to look at. Oh, wow. Comes out a cooler, mm. yeah. So, oh. do you oh. think you still got the yellow dollar sign? Or do you think they fixed that? I don't know. I always get yellow dollar sign and eight for some reason. Well, I shouldn't worry about it because worrying about right, it. I'll see you all later. I'll be in okay. chat. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Because if you get it all the time, um, worrying about it is not going to make it go away. Well, apparently I'm just... still running ads. And now a word from our sponsor. Boom. There you go. Another ad shall run. Another ad shall run. <laughs> you got to get this extra rent money somehow. Yeah, we got to get the rent money somehow, guys. <laughs> you say not to eat bag, so we have to run ads and run more, get some sponsorships. Now, what kind of sponsorships can we get? I mean, I want to sponsor products I know. Uh, well, Michelle, I mean, what's your audience? Mm. Do they do it by what kind of content you do? Well, I'm thinking about things like, well, obviously, gaming content. But it Yeah, has but you're not exactly a big gamer, are you? I'm not a big, big gamer, really. no. Yeah. Computer stuff, computer technology. I sometimes companies will send me product from um, companies will try to get me to sponsor them, like Timo and Sheen ask me to sponsor them. What's the matter, Mojo? What's up with Mojo? What happened? I don't know. She took off. Maybe her phone. No, she maybe said, her phone went off. I sense a bit of frostiness. Yeah. Did I miss something? Maybe. What happened? I don't know. 
But she was here and then she took off. Hmm. Well, Come back, Mojo. Why? What's the matter with Mojo? I might need to switch the kit. Come back, Mojo. Did somebody say something? Oh, well, Salty Shaker said he might want to try using Kick instead of uh, um, YouTube. And yeah, you could try, you could definitely try Kick. I'm on Kick. Uh, we have like 106 followers on Kick right now. I'm monetized on Kick. Um, but unfortunately, unlike YouTube, Kick doesn't automatically have advertising to run. Well, I'm now I'm worried. Was I frosty towards Mojo? Uh, was it me? I don't think you were frosty towards Mojo. I don't think so too. Like, that? say hello. How you doing? What? Oh, uh, she's probably got, yeah, she's probably got something. She's probably taking care, right, no, take care yeah, of something. Probably got right, she's probably got her own problems. Um, I'm okay. It's me. I'm good, she says. That's well, it. bloody get your ass back up here then. So, um, but so the shaker, if you want to try out the uh, kick, please do. I'll give you my kick link if you want to join kick. I really wouldn't mind having you on kick too. We can check out Silver Moon Radio tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Tiger Kitty can tell you all about that. Yeah, that's fun. That's a fun show. It's more just listening to music. Music, I get to sing to it. And then we have the after show on YouTube and kick usually. Um, all right, my she dad, says, God. Mojo says, Tiger, not at all. Sorry, she said, You don't have to be, don't have to be sorry. Really? Said, I've had kick a kill for a year, I just use it to watch Ice Poseidon once in a while, and a few others. Well, now you can add me to your list now, unless wait, unless she thought I didn't say hello, but I didn't know you were letting the dog out. I said hello when I first got up here. Yeah. So, yeah, you might have thought when you come back, oh, I didn't say hello. I did. I said it before when you were letting the dog out. I didn't know you were letting your dog out. All right. You said you were letting the dog outside. Yeah. All right. As long as it's not me. <laughs> it's all right, my child. <laughs> and uh, can I get frosty with Jojo? I don't Who wants so. to get frosty? I would still love to see Mojo be more um on our more our night streams on a kick once in a while. I mean, she's been there a few times listening to Silver Moon Radio. I'd yeah. love to see her coming more on a regular basis. And it's remembering it's on actually, Michelle. You know, I'm, I know it's very late over there. Right? Yeah. At seven o'clock here, it's like midnight there, and so. Depending on what she's doing on Sunday, Monday morning, she may not be awake enough to do it. Yeah. Um, but she does pop in when she sees you. Up. Yeah. So we have a great time with the music show. And uh, so Salty Shaker, come over here and listen to us. And also you can watch us, me and Lou Mini. Me and Lumi playing uh, World of Warcraft as you did it a couple of nights ago. And then you could also catch us live on Oregon Dawn. Uh, if you see a Virgo goddess running around um, in the Oregon Dawn, that's me. And um, send me a friend request over there. Join me in the game if you want. Because one of the things is, like I said to people, is I'd love to have more people play with me on the game. Um, what about my other character? They're in classic Lich King. Let me Finistra. Right. Finistra. Finistra. It is Finistra. It's the whole name. Let me, let me Finistra. I'd love to have you too. This train, I'm playing a train eye and I need help. Last time I had to kill 10 Michelles. Oh, jeez. Yeah, 10 Blood Elves. <laughs> um, I have American World of Warcraft count since early 2008. 
So it will be fun starting fresh on this new EU account. I'll create a tune on Oregon Dawn. Definitely. You'll catch me there. You'll love it. Oregon Dawn is one of the most interesting RP servers. It's the most busy. It's where all the big YouTubers hang out. Yep, Doron and a few others. I think he's had the Russian server mostly. Really? I think Hi, so. Hi, Karen. Or Karen, whatever your name is. Oh, Karen? What's Karen saying? Um, Red is the first. He's saying sheesh. Um, I don't know what you mean by thirsty. I don't think I've ever seen Karen before. Okay. But welcome. Karen? You may have seen Karen before. She used to, I think she used to go by Karen, the real McCoy, Karen. I think she's just shortened her name down. That was probably a different Karen. Because I have seen a Karen too. Karen, Karen, Karen C, is it? Comes in here. Yeah. Right. Because I saw Karen C this morning and I saw her in her chat too, also. I mean, in the comments. So this may be a different Karen, but welcome, Karen, anyway, to the show. She's new. Okay. Well, either way, welcome to the show. Appreciate it. I love having oh, cool. new people come to the show. You feel like gifting out some memberships today and see who gets some tiger kidding? No, not really, Michelle. I don't. Um, do you have any Michelle you can gift out? Um, no, you shouldn't be doing that, Michelle. Well, let's see if I can gift out five. But your 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 rent's just gone up. Well, let's see if I can give out five. Oh, yeah, bye, yeah. Michelle. Oh, you can buy 10 memberships. Nicely done. You gifted out all 10 free ones. Yeah. Five memberships, 10 memberships, 20 memberships, 50 memberships. Yoik. You want to give up 50 memberships? No. <laughs> it costs $149.50. And I think I'll pass on that. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> 2011 no subs says mojo karen is no subs but i but you know it's okay not everybody oh, karen, not, all these people, not all these people are streamers so they're not necessarily going to be pushing for subscriptions on the channel when they're just mostly just viewers of content which is absolutely oh fun. God. Um, you're don't Michelle, okay? Michelle, stop giving up memberships and wasting money. All right, well, yeah. <sighs> you've got you got big bills coming up, Michelle. Like two hundred. I know, extra. I know. We are going to be feeling the pinch. I'm running up a hundred. Uh, I'm running up another credit card tab. This isn't exactly a good way to handle it. No, yeah, don't don't do that. Yeah. Do not do that. Well, it's true. And now another ad from our sponsor. Ding. <laughs> well, it doesn't pay a lot, but it pays something. It would be nice if it would, would actually stick the ads in where I click them here and they say, oh, wait. Michelle would like to have the ad stay there. And that way, it's making a marker. That'd be nice if it just stood that, but it doesn't seem to do that. So when it does the replay, the ads Michelle added in and she added them in, don't necessarily stick around in exactly that location when the, uh, when the system does the final processing and developing. No, unfortunately. Um... I knew some board you have added. Very entertaining. Well, yeah, this is because of my El Gato stream deck that Brian PC bought me. Yep, she's been getting lots of gifts and things. Yeah, Brian PC bought me this. And you might have noticed that most of the trolls have gone. Yeah. She still has some, but some Most of the trolls are gone. And we got a better audience now, and we're growing the channel, and we've got more people coming and watching. 
They have rare you started actually yeah. making money off the channel. Things have changed for the better for Michelle. Oh yeah, definitely. But is the wedding more good in it? Yeah. I gotta go run, guys, said Nads. I'll behave yourself. Nads, go download the Bl the Blizzard app and then download and install the World of Warcraft, either the American or EU server. Um, since you're gonna be starting out, download and choose the EU server. And then if you like it, you can follow us on the EU server. Now, I, Good night, I will be honest. You have a wonderful, wonderful evening, whatever you're doing, or morning. Yeah, or I don't know, where you, don't know where you live, but have a wonderful one. Yeah. So, so, so have, we got, have we got to change Vafer's name now to Salty Shaker? Because I'm not going to have a clue. Salty Shaker, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll stick to the old name. Well, I know who Salty Shanker is. I know him by both names. Oh, I didn't know he had this account. Salty Shanker, if you want to come on over to our Discord, if you're not still in our Discord, we clean a lot. Oh, if he was in the old Discord, I wouldn't be surprised if he left it. It was an awful place. I think he me. may have been one of the people that called Claire it out when we went through and cleared all the vacant accounts. So. Oh. So why don't you just go ahead and rejoin? You can rejoin that. And um, I'm having a buddy over to help me do that. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, when you go download the Blizzard app and you set up for the first time, set up for the European servers. The reason is, is because that's the ones I'm playing on. Um. And for most people, the speed is not too bad, and you're not going to have the worst luck with the European servers because it's a little cheaper exchange rate. It's like something like close to the same price as the American account. Let's say ten euros, and um, it's pretty good. Well, I never knew you as Salty Shaker. Yeah, I only knew you as Vafer. Yeah. He was playing with me and Lumi and Red and really not Red, but, like Red, Red Paul Red and uh, Skynet. Red is here. He's in uh, Kick, or he was here. I don't know if he's still too bad that Skynet won't come back here anymore. I know he was kind of a troll, but in some ways, mm, I know no. World of Warcraft coming was kind of funny playing with him. So the singer said, I don't mind if I call you me bay for no down my real name, which Sean is fine. Okay. Salty Shanker. A vapor. I need a vapor, so I always do is vapor. He's vapor. That's it. Don't stop. Um <laughs> well, still interesting though. Um Yeah, you could do with some more players to play World of Warcraft with. The VM Fusion program. Let's see. He said he put a link out for it. Let me take a look at the Discord to go go and see if it shows it. Oh, the message from him about it. And then I'm going to see if I can install it under. Um, yeah, I see a message from him. Yep. Um, he did send me a link. Free Windows VM. Need to watch. It's a video. All right. So I will take a look at that. I've heard of Fusion. Welcome, Salty Shanker has joined our Discord. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, nice. Well done. Good. That's right. Do you think um, now since you're using um, the older 
Ventura, do you think you're going to have a problem in Stone Fusion? Or do you think it's going to work okay? Mm, I don't know. Some people like parallels. I tried parallels on this computer. And um, at the time, I didn't really have a lot of luck with parallels. And um, I do got a copy of it from the Pirate Bay. I can install with Windows 10. But I really would rather install with Linux, honestly. Well, now we got more room on the computer to do something. Right. And um, and then we can install um, Wine. I got 64-bit Wine installed on this thing. But unfortunately enough for us, the... Um, uh, the games that I want to play, for example, Turtle Wow is only 32 bit. Essential Wow won't run because it requires DirectX 12. Um, so, tattooed on my wrist since we broke up. Covered up. It's funny because when I was in elementary school, I would sometimes get picked on and called scene because the dumb kids didn't know how to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, because they sh you know there's a it is a hidden each. So Sean, Sean. Yeah, I can see how that could be. <laughs> Maybe your mom, if your mom spelled it out, S H W A N, Sean, most kids probably would never get mixed up. Yep, that's the correct, that's the correct Celtic spelling, yes. Well, All right, Michelle, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea, so I'm going to jump down for now. Yeah, I mean, we've so far we've had a pretty good night show. What do you think? I mean, it's been a little slow at first. Yeah, I, I think everyone's busy. It's like Wall and Coyote pushing a rock up the hill. <laughs> yeah. right, I'll talk to you in a bit. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. So let me go take a look at the VM Fusion and see if I can install that with um Debian or with um uh, Proton or one of the other programs to run Windows games. Um I only got sixteen gigabytes of RAM on this thing, Michelle. You're not gonna have a lot of room. And the more virtual boxes you stuff on here. Well what? I got four gig I got four terabytes of hard drive space. I got enough room. Uh, T T on T one. Okay, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, that's my parents were going for since my mom's hired a pirate. Okay, Shane Seamus Seamus. That's another Irish name. It's kind of based on Sean Seamus Seamus Seamus. Usually when you hear the name Seamus, you think of an old guy, right? Like an old sailor, old salt of the ocean. I, my name is Seamus. I've been on this old dirty dog for about 20 years. <laughs> hey, give me that bottle of rum over there. I'm thirsty. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. So interesting. My family's Italian, Norwegian, English, um, probably French too. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I got French in my ancestry as well, along with Germanic. Kind of an interesting. Person of all countries. 
<laughs> Actually, the biggest computer pirate of all is probably Michelle, not me. <laughs> Michelle knows how to get all the good software if I want to, which you usually don't. Nah, I'm not going to bother it. How old am I? I'm 56. 56. Not a kid. Far from it. I grew up back with computers. You used to use punch cards. I was one of the first one people that have a home computer back in the 1980s. I got my first computer, which is a Timex Sinclair, Timex Sinclair 1000. Then later I got on a technical, I mean a Commodore 64, then I got a Commodore VIC-20, then I got a TI-994A, then I got a Tandicolor Computer 3, then I got my first IBM PC in about 1992, second hand, which is an old, um, uh, which is an old blue chip Hyundai computer. Rusty, stop pushing my monitor around. Stop pushing my monitor around. I'm going to be surprised if you're the one who, because you're a couple nursing in March, or if you would have made those, the March or kind of act up bad last time, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go, oh, come on, Rusty. Come on, everybody wants to see you. You can't see you when you're hiding behind everything. Yeah. Ray asks about you. Can't even see you. Oh, there you go. Let me move my face a little bit up in the way so you can see the cat. Big cat. Big kitty. Big kitty. Yep, that's the big rest ball for you. Big heavy cat. Been part of my life for 12 years. He's a good cat. Now, you might have noticed, or maybe you don't, Miss us over so you can see it. He's laying on the turntables right now, over there. That's why we have to let him outside during several months radio, because he would be laying on the turntable even when they're spinning records. All of a sudden, you listen to the record, all of a sudden, whoop, yeah, whoop, and then the record gets all scratched up and broken. <laughs> You got that right. Um, so, but he's a big cat. But he's a good cat, though. He doesn't mean harm. It's just a big, large key cat. No, Joe. That's a true British Islander. Yes, she was born and raised in the UK. So, oh, by the way, you probably didn't see it, but Michelle has over there behind the green screen, behind the green screen. I have it. I have the UK flag right there on my wall. Yep, Michelle's got the flag on the wall. So, ah. All right, so. You level up to level two. Woo! That's congratulations. What does he win? What does he win? I don't know. Actually, I could I could have won I could have won prizes. I'm not sure how that works though with Botrix, but yeah, he can win prizes. If anyone can win prizes for depending how long they've been here, but I haven't really figured out what the prizes would be yet. So no, it's a pretty nice place. It's it's not perfect. I mean, it's a little long in the tooth, but um, you know, it's a, it's not a bad place. If you watch my videos on my YouTube channel enough times, you would know um, 
Can I show any of this? I think so. Let me. And if you didn't. Um, so here's the background. Here's the studio. You got monitor one, monitor two. The cat's laying on top of the turntables we use for Silver Moon. All vinyl all the time. You can see the records over there. There's no turn stereo. Michelle was fixing up for somebody that she's going to work on. You can see, like I said, the shelf here for this monitor. This monitor, the camera on the wall, I can't really see it, but there's a camera on the wall. And um, and that's how we do it. We have all the setup here so that it's set up to be totally blind friendly. There's a lady, one of the World Warcraft player called Blind Kills on YouTube. Blind Kills. She has she has macular, um, she has right nice pigmentosa. And um, and there's also Totally Blind Gamer. He plays on Twitch. Um, just like them, Michelle's trying with the. The voices, uh, the computer voices in the game, so that she can like be aware of what she wins and stuff, so she doesn't have to be like totally like caught in the dark. I love your studio when you show it's fascinating. Yeah, I go in more detail and show it in the videos than I do on camera because I got times to show more detail and. Uh, Thank you for the applause. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, I really uh, admire you for light, um, the buy it for life headphones, Michelle. Aren't these like 50 years old? About that. Yeah, but they're, they're really made back in the mid 70s. Yeah. So... I was, I was made in 1968, so there were six years old when these things probably came off the market, off the assembly line. And I, what did I do was I replaced the cups with new cups here. So these cups are not the original cups. These, I have replaced these with brand new cups. The headband's original. Um, the cups are new. The cord is new. Um, the drivers inside are original drivers. I like them because when I put them on, it's like, it's like totally silent, except for the tinnitus in my ears. No, they don't. I got plenty of broken ones of the, the cheapies. Well, these over here, um, of these ones... Um, these here, and these, these are for the same company. Um, these are the one Michelle likes. These are the, um, the over, or on the ears, but the, um, the headphone plug broke on them. So all you can use them with is Bluetooth. Right. These only work with Bluetooth. And these work with both Bluetooth and, uh, wired connection so maybe once in a while we'll try these out so yeah so these are remind me to get more of these bags they're good for this um holding things um Michelle riding in a DC on a DC ten tonight. Oh, I use speakers for earbuds. Oh, I got earbuds. I got the wired AirPods third generation ones. Um, I have used those for testing, and they were pretty good with my iPhone fifteen with the USB C, the earbud adapter. So, um. 
So yeah, I can use this with my iPhone as wired earbuds, and um, because the iPhone 15 has USB-C instead of Lightning connector. Um, basically, I want to use speakers or earbuds. Headphones hurt my head for some reason. I can never find the comfy ones. Yeah, headphones are gonna be hard to find comfortable ones. I. My head's too small. Um, it's almost like I was born with a shrunken head or something. <laughs> so the standard headphones are just keep falling off my ears. Well, Michelle, you got these big spikes for ears now. Yeah. But, uh, see. Yeah, my big ears. My big ears. They do help me hear a little bit better. Yeah. So... You know you want it. Ooh. Yeah, you like my ears. You like my elfie points? Nice, rubby. Rub, 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 rub. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, different ears, different people. All right, so let me go ahead and close um, IDN so I don't forget to close this program. I'll see if you don't want to open them. So, so as well, don't paneling on this one here. So I can go back and watch the other panel so I can kind of interact on the other one. I put this on for I for JoJo and uh, where is it? Right there. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Well, Oh, I'm not getting it. Where'd you stick it? I don't know. Where'd you stick it? I don't know. So, does that mean that we can't end the show? Oh, it is. There's the ear. No, I can get hair in the cat. But, but again. Uh, no, cat, get, cat hair. Rusty hair. Rusty cat hair in my mouse track ball again. Maybe that should be a song. I got here in my track ball again. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So please, guys, do me a favor. Make sure to please keep us around. So let me tell you tomorrow's schedule. Tomorrow's Sunday. It's my fun day. It's a laundry day. It's also laundry day, right? So here's the deal. Um, I sleep in tomorrow, and then I take a bath, and then I usually will come on for Silver Moon Radio about seven o'clock, and uh, we go from seven to ten with Silver Moon Radio, and then after Silver Moon Radio about ten o'clock, we do the after show, and then after that we go back to bed. But tomorrow is also the day off. That's when I do fun stuff or. Things I didn't get a chance to get to all week. And then on Monday through Friday or Thursday at very least, we have several we have the morning show at 10 a.m. at uh, Eastern Time. And then Monday night we have a night show if I feel up to it. Tuesday night we have movie night at seven the all night shows are around seven o'clock. Wednesday is we woo Wednesday. Um, last week, we this week we didn't have it because J. Mac Gorgon had some things else come up. Thursday, it's really nothing planned. Friday is World of Warcraft gameplay with Lumi, me, and Carmen Miranda. Friday, it, or Saturday night, is the night show, which we're having now. Sunday, which, as I said, is my fun day. It's when we have Silver Moon Radio at 7 o'clock for the morning show. That would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe. Saturday is at 10 a.m. So, Moja says, I always liked elderly people. Yeah, the history. Well, Moja, I mean, you guys are almost the same age. So, um, our histories are probably very similar. Um, 
Pops was like how my parent to a paternal grandfather, by the way. Okay. So, but you know what? I'm going to go look at your VM Fusion thing. Um, and see if I can install it with um, Debian. See if I can install Debian instead of using um, the other software. Well, what if you can't? Why? Um, because what if, uh, let me look at the software a little bit. Please don't jinx me. Okay. Okay. But right now, at least I can tell you right now that the World of Warcraft from Blizzard servers are working fine for me. And, um, Argon Dawn, trying to choose a class. Well, right now I'm playing human. Um, I'm a human paladin. So if you play with Virgo goddess, she's a human paladin. And yes, yeah, she's black or darker anyway. She's not one of the really dark, dark, dark ones. But she is black. My character is black. Like the real Virgo goddess says. Which is very, very outspoken young lady from the south. Um, so if you play as an alliance character, you can play with me on Argenton. Um, or I can maybe create another character on the Horde. I can play with him. Yeah. Do you have a Horde character? I don't know. Um, oh, I did. I mean, I had the Goblin. I hated the Goblin, but... Do you want to play Goblin again? Can I skip the Can I skip the Goblin starting zone? Yeah, you can play Arc. You can play Exiles Reach. That's almost as bad as the Goblin starting zone. Yeah, but it would. But like you did last time when Carmen Mar Carmen Miranda, you got her up a little bit. She was playing. She was playing classic. Well, she never played the the starting zone. Oh, Virgo Goddess did it. Oh, yeah, Virgo. No, 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 no. I'm getting confused. Virgo Goddess didn't play the starting zone. She played the original starting zone for Alliance players. Okay, how you doing, Parasol? Well, good evening to you. Good evening to you. Um, I have a feeling Carmen will be still the bubble bath tomorrow, so I don't think you're going to have to worry about that. She was a little bit upset that we didn't get a chance to play with her last night. Yeah, Michelle had to take a poop. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> I almost didn't get to the bathroom in time. Um, so... Next week, we're going to try to get Carmen Miranda playing again. Um, what, what characters would you like playing with? Um, like you said, you like to go people. I like the way your character sounds so nice. The voice actress that does um, the the, the female drain eye has got a really nice voice to her, doesn't she? She sure does. Uh, always good to see you, Michelle. Thank you very much. Um, so everybody, basically what it comes down to is we're still trying to get more people to come to the game. We're still trying to grow the channel. We're still trying to bring new people here. We want to grow the channel. We want to bring new content in here. And I really, really would like you to all do a favor and let people know about this channel because we're still trying to grow it and make it bigger. Oh, yeah! 
Great time. Yeah. After all, we all came over here together to basically have some fun. And so this thing, I'm going to look at the VM, the VM thing, VM Fusion thing. And if I can get to work with Debian Linux, um, or I could always install um, the other software, um, Windows 10 with uh, Parallels, Parallels. Parallels. But that means it's going to be using a lot of swap drive. You saw the computer only has 16 gigabytes of RAM. Of course, it's going to be hitting the swap file. That's in an SSD. I know, I know. So, so Parasol, um, you and your wife are welcome to be here, of course, every day. How we are trying to grow this channel. And um, right now, I think it's time to get ready to wrap it up. Did they finally give you your green dollar sign? I don't know. Let's check. Let's check. Nope. That guy's not, huh? No. Oh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. And now another word from our sponsor. Yep, no word from the sponsor. Make sure to put a like in the like eater. Right now we got more likes than we got people watching. Oh, well, if you haven't put a like in the like eater, put one in there. Cool. Great. You and I can play together right now. Where am I? Cool terrorist. Right, I'm in cool terrorist right now. Doing the BFA part of the story for Virgo Goddess. So right now I am um, I know where the portal is, so I can meet you um, over there in Stormwind. But you got to become a paid member first. But you know, since you're starting out pretty much as a starting zone, um, when you get in. When you get your account as a paid account, when you're up to level 20, um, then you'll be about the same level as me. And then we could, uh, I could probably help you get through the uh, the starting zone with BFA. Um, that'd be good. Then you guys go work together on quests. Yeah. Because we play World of Warcraft on Friday nights on Argon Dawn and. A classic, classic, and classic Wrath of Lich King. We play all three. And don't forget me. And don't forget Carmen. Because I've been wanting to play. I didn't get a chance to play last night. I was hoping to play, but Michelle didn't have me on. We'll get you on. We'll get you on. I promise you that. No, oh, yeah. Retail is completely different. Absolutely. Retail is way different now. Um, but I'm still running the BFA quest, even though I, the, the storyline, for some reason, I keep getting attracted to it like a flame. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, let me go see if I can take a look at the VM Fusion thing and see if I can use it with uh, um, either um, do you need to have Windows with it or can you use it with other operating system programs? I know Parallels by default uses Windows. Um, uses, yeah, but I'm not using the VM Fusion, not Parallels. Yeah, you mean the old interface? Yeah, you can go back to where it says edit. Edit the interface. You mean go back to play the classic games? Once you were a paid member, you can go on, you can play the classics games like 
Wrath of Lich King Classic and Classic Classic Hardcore and stuff. But you have to be a, a regular full time paid member and it costs ten euros a month, which is about ten fifty about fifteen dollars US. Um Okay, I can so I can do with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So everybody, tomorrow night, seven o'clock is well is uh, Silver Moon Radio AM sixteen ten. I have no idea what we're playing. Mulligan stew, Mulligan stew. Throw whatever I got. I mean, it might be some old stuff, might be some new stuff. Not too much Carmen stuff. Not too much Carmen stuff. So, well, Karen may not necessarily like country music. Um, we do get a lot of that because I do like country music, a lot of country music. But everybody, thank you so much for watching, and may you all have a nice night and safe dreams. Amen. Amen. See you all tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Good night for now. I'm Kick. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.